Now I'm going to go over some frequently asked questions that I've had throughout my years as an orthopedic surgeon, ones that are very common so that they may help you in the event that these questions come up for you. Number one is going to be, what's the recovery process like? Each joint, whether it's a hip or knee, has a separate recovery process because the exercises are different, the expectations are different. However, it is normal for a recovery process to be at least three months for each total joint. Now, the orthopedic research and the orthopedic community will tell you that it could take a good solid year or more after your surgery for you to fully recover. Now, that is more for the knee replacement patients because of the demand on a hinge joint like a knee rather than the ball and socket in the hip. But it does apply to both. So the recovery process, as long as you're doing your exercises, following the instructions, communicating with your surgeon, should take somewhere about three months. Could be less if you're a good patient, could be longer if you have any difficulty. Another question is, when do I follow up? Normally we see patients two weeks after surgery, six weeks after surgery, three months after surgery. But if at any point in time there's any problems with your wounds, like an infection, please call us right away. If there's a chance you may have a blood clot, please call us right away. And either myself, Ms. Bavolo, or Ms. Abudaya will be able to address those needs for you once you've called and left a message. Another important question is, how long does your implant last? In the research, it says normal joint and hip knee replacements will last somewhere between 10 to 15 years. In my experience, I've seen patients have their implants last more than that, close to 20, maybe 25 years. But a lot of that is dependent on age and activity. The younger you are, the more likely you're gonna need a revision surgery. For example, if you're 55, your implant is not gonna last you the rest of your life because if the average expectancy is higher than that, then somewhere 10 to 15 later, you may have to have a revision or redo surgery. But if you're 75, that implant's probably gonna last you the rest of your life. So, as long as you're taking care of yourself with good healthy habits, you're taking care of your joint replacement, you're talking to your orthopedic surgeon or the members of the team and asking questions on what you can and cannot do, everything should go as standard. Life with a total joint replacement is very tough because you're taking care of a joint replacement, not your joint, your God-given joint. So by tough, I mean you have to watch out for any problems. You're going to be limited in any high-impact activities, so running, jumping, a treadmill, those types of things. But there are exercises you can do. You can do water exercises, an elliptical, a stair climb, a recumbent bike. So you do have to make adjustments. But if you make those adjustments, you have no issues, things will go very well for you in your joint replacement. What if my pain is not controlled? You have to let us know when your pain is not controlled. You have to call us, tell us, and we'll work with you. We're gonna ask you important questions. How many medications are you taking? How often are you taking them? So we can make adjustments. If you have taken pain medications, narcotic medications before surgery, it will be very difficult for us to help treat your pain after surgery. So we do ask patients stop their pain medications one week before surgery so it resets your brain. Your brain is where a lot of these medications work. As we give you more, your body craves more. We don't want you to be addicted, so we have to do this scientifically. When can I drive? In the research, driving is somewhere around four weeks, but that's for an hip or a knee that's on the right side. So if you don't have a manual transmission, it is somewhere around four weeks for a person to drive. Now, I use that standard for both legs because you have to get in and out of a car. So there's no driving prior to four weeks. But if you feel you're doing well, please call us so we can give you permission to do that. We don't want you to take any risks. We don't want you to get into trouble. We don't want anything bad to happen because you've had a huge event in your life with a total joint surgery. So please, Please be open and honest with us. When can I go back to work? That question, in order to answer it, is different for everybody. If you have a sedentary job where you're sitting all day and someone can drive you to work, you could probably go back to work sooner than somebody who's a laborer, a plumber, electrician, or somebody who's on their feet all the time. So please work with us. We will set realistic expectations on when you can go back to work 
based on what your job description is. And we will fill out all your forms. So please let us know what needs to be done so that we can work with you and your job. When can I go back to exercising? Well, technically you're gonna be exercising, but it's not gonna be your normal exercise regimen. Hopefully with no arthritis, you'll have less arthritic pain and you'll just have to be working on the exercises to get your hip or knee moving. So please follow the exercises that your therapists give you or we give you. Because in the end, once you've recovered, you should be able to go back to some type of exercise regimen, whether it's the same or modified, so that you can stay active in your life. Because that's the whole point of the surgery. We want you to have less pain or no pain and more function. And we want to keep you active and living your life well. And finally, a question I don't get all the time, but it is frequent, is when can I resume sexual intercourse? This question applies for both hip and knee replacements, because with that question, it depends on position. We don't want you putting pressure on a joint incision. We don't want you putting undue stress on that joint. So I would reserve the, any of that type of activity for about six to eight weeks. But if you feel everything is going well, please call us so we can answer that question and guide you appropriately. 